Sky, I must say that my swag has reached an all-time high. Mine too. Look at these shades. <laughs> Courtesy of Daryl and Eyewear. Daryl and Eyewear, designer Italian eyewear. Yes. And High quality. Yes, and they've got, not this what you see on our faces right now is great, but they're going to have a new line coming out in February. Men's and women's. Men's and women's. And if yep. you guys have the opportunity, please run over to Darylin.com. And that's D-A-R-L-Y-N-N.com. And you I'm can check out the latest eyewear. That's I it. love them. Yes, D-A-R-Y-L-Y-N-N.com. Yep. Check it out. Now, we're going to take we'll off take our shades. We'll take them off and show ourselves. And our ourselves. swag will disappear a little bit, but hey. Uh, last month, we had the mystery celebrity. And we had a winner! And, and you know and what? So I'm going to tell you guys. You guys are familiar with him because he follows the show. Mm -hmm. and it, it that was, was impressive. It was impressive. Because we only gave three hints, right? We gave three hints. And, and we, he got it. And he got it. And we thought there's no way that anyone is going to get this. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Bobby, and you guys better know, know him as Bobby BG 33 k Congrats, on Bobby! He got a hundred dollar gift card. He got a hundred, but he got. We, we got to tell him who you got. Oh, <laughs> He's yeah. like a hundred dollar like gift card. I'm like selling it. You're okay, like, so so tell him who the mystery <laughs> celebrity was. Forget it. This guy is so fired up. She's like ready to tell. I was him. so excited about what he won. <laughs> he All right. got. He who got. Was it, it was celebrity? Judy Dench from the Bond movies, and Judy Dench over across the pond is a famous actress, and we didn't think anybody would get it because we thought everybody would be focusing on the younger Yeah, she's actress. pretty cool. She's but, pretty cool. But Bobby yeah. nailed it. Congratulations. It's time for December's Mystery Celebrity, and the first hint Hint for is? <sighs> I want to know. Mel Singer. Ooh, that could be a lot of things. Mel Singer. Mm -hmm. That is the first hint. Now, I'm going to roll right into Street Slug 101 <laughs> because everybody oh, yeah. loves when oh, I tour yeah. Scott. Everybody loves when I tour Oh, I know. You. Everyone's left me comments saying that I've let them down, that I've let the white girls down, and some people want to take me for a, a trip to the hood, which I accept. I'll go. Yeah, I like you know, I, she will. And, but I'm yeah. going to tell you what, you know, Sky does suck at this, but you know what? You know what? Other than that, you're awesome. You know? Now, I'm going to give you, I, I, I felt bad for you. Because you were lobbying for me to give you more words that were more familiar. And there were people that were sending me emails saying, wow, you know, you're not representing the white girls and stuff. I so know. I, I, What's up with that, man? So I brought it down right. tone. It's not as ghetto-fied this week. Okay, it, they're, good. They're maybe more can... mainstream ghetto tones. Okay, maybe I know some of them. Okay. Now, okay. you ready for the first one? Yes. Busta. <laughs> I just, you guys, see, see, you know, as Is much as I just... move? <laughs> <laughs> she's people people she's taking it to another level. I know. Uh, I like, thought that was Do you cool. want me to use it? No, no. Uh, do you want me to use it in a sentence for you? Yes. Me? Okay. Oh man, that guy Tom, he's a buster. He's a loser? Well, yeah. He doesn't have his shit together? <laughs> yeah, you you he's can kind broke? of see. You can kind of see. That's like a fake, a phony, you know, a punk, you know, whatever. That's it it, it has a very broad range of terms. But, you know well, what? I'm not going like to give you that. Like a loser like you a said, it, you you could definitely say loser. Okay. You know? right. So I'm I'll a, get it. No. Um, no, no because I you think said you bust. Give it to you me. were like, is it bust, bust or move? move? Bust yeah. the move. You were like way out here with it. Okay. No, but I said loser after that. I should get it. I should get it. Loser give it to people. me. Okay, I'll give it to you. Okay. Okay. Sky's one for one. All right. Chips. Chips, people. Money. Chips. Oh, snaps! Chips, right. You know, like I'm casino chips. Casino. Yeah, Yay, there you go. I got one. Chips is money. Like, he's got mad chips. He's got mad okay. money. And it derived from casino chips. Do you think chips. I was going to say potato chips? I don't know. I, do I mean, like I know you can, be, you can eat. I don't know how you yeah. keep your girly figure because you throw down. You I know do. I, mean? I like to eat. Uh, you're two for two. All right. Everybody, she's totally redeeming herself. All right. Are you ready for it's the next about one? about time. Math. Math? This gets where it gets a little bit more diff difficult. Difficult. No, can you <laughs> use it in a sentence? Huh? Use it in a sentence for me. Yeah, you know, so I was hiring that little shorty in the corner and I got her my math. You got what? I got her math. You got her number. Damn! She's three for three. Math is phone number. See, when I give it in a sentence, I help you out. Well, but that's only fair. You all gotta right. do that. Now, this is I one... I gotta hear how you guys talk in the hood. Yes. Now, all the brothers <laughs> out there are gonna know what this one are. All the, guy, all the guys that follow this show are gonna know what this one is. Okay. Onion. Oh man. <laughs> is that a booty? Oh shit! You went four for four! Oh. 
I cannot yeah. believe you went for onion is your booty. Booty. You know, like God will look at me like, yeah. man, that girl's got a nice onion, mm-hmm. this booty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you look? Did you peek at the answer? I swear, no. I've I've read that somewhere, like about a booty about onions. <laughs> I read it somewhere. A booty about onions. A booty yeah, about... I did. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys. Wow, you I didn't don't make know. it easier for me. I Thank didn't make you. it four for four. Okay. I don't think you've ever gone four. And you know what, everybody out there, be honest and, and let me know what you guys did because somebody would be like, "Oh, I went for, it was easy this week." I want to see what everybody. You I'm probably sure beat it was some easier, of our but followers. you know what? I deserve to have some easier words because some of that shit was too ghetto. It fun. was, but you know, what? next week I'm going back to being really, right. really okay. fucking ghetto. And now, um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys were tuning in to sixty minutes because I can't see. Do most you of watch our followers. sixty minutes? Every once in a while, I catch that. That's shit. an old people show, and that's why I don't think most of our followers would watch sixty no. minutes. But I like, did. What? 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 And are they Jeff talking Bezos about? was on it, and you know who he is? He is the CEO. You know of what? Amazon. I know who that is because I fucking shop on Amazon. And <laughs> so they do sell, I. They sell everything. I'm a prime member. And it. Co- you are. Fuck yeah, oh, I'm a prime. Good for you. I get yeah. everything delivered. What does that mean? That means that I'm special as shit. That means that basically, <laughs> you know what? I get special. I you, you, get you special pay for your treatment? Prime membership. I do get special. You know At what? Least I, I love that. Amazon. I just ordered something for my brother. Shipped it to him for Christmas already. I I order everything. And the other day was Cyber Monday, so it was love crazy it. deals. But getting back to to the point at hand, he is the CEO of Amazon. Okay. He was on sixty minutes. And he's not minutes. that old. He, he he's a young guy. He's forty nine years old. Yeah. And this guy is a he's fucking loaded. genius. And. uh he was on and they were asking him about Amazon and all these things. And it, it was a great interview. And he's talking about how he, they control so much of the internet. They house so much of the internet. It, they even do some of their service, their cloud service, do the CIA. Holy uh, shit. So it, it, people were like drunk. But the thing that got everybody's attention is he went fucking straight Star Wars on, on dude and said, introduce him to an Amazon drone. Okay. This drone, Amazon has its own drone? Now, they're thinking about rolling out this delivery system with drones that mm-hmm. fly through the air like fucking in Star Wars and deliver packages. Holy you know? the, shit, now, that's cool. There's going to be small... Pa- it's not like the drone is like in the fucking, you know, robot weight room lifting weights and, you know, being able to lift. They're going to be a five pound package. Oh, okay? five pounds only? Like, five what pounds. if I want my fucking bicycle that I ordered the next day? The drone's going to be like, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. And their bicycle's too heavy. Fuck that shit. Order somewhere <laughs> else, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but I mean that's how it might go down. But they're li- they're limited to a five pound. So what they're saying. Okay. And I thought it was genius. I when when I heard it, I that I, is I, really I, like futuristic, like Jetsons. Yeah. It's, Anybody? Did you watch the Jetsons? I did watch the Jetsons. Oh, the Astro the Jetsons. and all that shit. It was a, cool it was a good shit. show. Yeah. yeah. I definitely wasn't yeah. sleeping on it. And it is. It is just like the Jetsons, Star Wars, Star Trek, whatever you want to call. And there's a lot of narrow minded people that say, oh, it can't happen. Just like people said, oh, it can't happen. There will never be a man on the moon. Yeah. You know, there'll yeah. never be a, you know, a, a private spaceship when space one, mm-hmm. a SpaceX did it a few years ago. This guy is thinking above the, you know, he's ahead of the curve yeah. and he's on the cutting edge and, and I admire him for that. I really do. He's now, just going with his ideas and he doesn't care what anybody thinks. He's like, this is what I want to do. I'm going to do, I'm going to yeah. dream, I'm a dreamer and I'm going to bring my dreams to well, life. Well, you also have to have money to dream because this guy's fucking loaded. Yeah. And he's loaded. He went to Princeton. He's a Princeton grad yeah. and he built everything though. He yeah. built Amazon. And so, he built his shit, you know, and he yeah. had an idea and he's a dream and he continues to do it. And that's why Amazon has become the company it's become. Mm-hmm. Now, scroll, baby, scroll. Scroll. So <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, is that obviously you have your skeptics. OK, now we would not be the Kevin White show. OK, or the Kevin and Sky show. I mean, we if, de- first we deliver half the news, but we're going to we have some questions about this shit. Right. Because everybody has questions now. Yeah. With that being said, okay. I'm the biggest advocate of it. I love to see it happen because I'm the most impatient motherfucker in the world. I push sin and I want to hear ding dong simultaneously. Like, you, sin, I, ding dong, your package you, is here, motherfucker. So I, I roll out. Thank you. Okay, so wait a minute. So these drones, mm-hmm. someone flies them like a remote control that, fucking helicopter? There is. It's just like a drone. Like, it's not a, it's, it's not a self thing thinking drone. It is a drone that will have to be piloted. Okay, which, so someone's going to fly it. Mm-hmm. So who's going to fly it? Do I have to take a test? Now, we're going to go through a series of questions that I've come up with and, and some of them that other people are coming up with. And okay. the first question is, when is this going to happen? Like, when is it going to happen? Like, when are we going to get deliveries? Like, they're saying it could possibly happen in 2015. What people have to realize is so. that I don't either. And, and the FAA is like, okay, you know what? That's in two years. They're not, they're, yeah, it's two years from now. And 
there's so much shit that happens with the FAA yeah. for non-commercial flights and, and heights and how high is it going to be and what's it going to do and controlling the traffic and stuff. Mm -hmm. Because let's say one of these drones just got near a plane and sucked up in one of his jets. And, oh, my know? God. I didn't even. Well, it doesn't go that high. Uh, well, a plane has to come down. Here's the drone. That, they're going to look at okay, every yeah, fucking Okay, they got to like, talk to the FAA about no-fly zones. What if Mr. President wants a package right away? Can uh -huh. the drone go to the White House? The drone will not go will they let, The drone will get clearance? shot the fuck down. Okay. You know? so, now, I'm going to get back to the question you said. Everybody's going to say, who will drive the drone? Like, the drone is, is a robot. It's, it's yeah, a man. Yeah, do you have to take like a driver's ed test? <laughs> no, I mean, no. I mean, like, can I fly one? No. no. You would be fucking shit up. You know, but, you'd be taking down planes, people, you know? But... It is a question, like, okay, how are these people going to be trained to fly these drones? Exactly. Um, what happens if fucking Timothy, the drone flyer, goes out and smokes four bags of weed and does a couple shots with his friends and he's fucking like flying drones the it's next like, day? It's like, ah, it's gotta go to uh, Michigan. Well, he's just going to Mexican, you know? And then he fucking clips somebody or he fucking takes a pelican out. And then you got pedo in your ass because you just killed a bird, a prey. You know, so there are so many questions that are being raised by this. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, who's going to fly the drones? How capable? What type of training are they going to be? Yeah. Some more questions okay. were up. Uh, the drones are in everybody, you know, they're saying that, you know, people, these professors at certain universities are saying drones are extremely vulnerable to hacking. Oh, so somebody could be like, yo, I want that package up there and have it come to their house? Nerds rule the world. They'd be now. like, mm, okay, let's have some packages delivered to our house. Wow. I can't pay my mortgage, but I will now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, nerds shit. rule the world now. And I, I mean, they're, they're saying that they, uh, I think the University of Texas recently hacked into a, a drone using a GPS system. Like one that they could just buy. They hacked into, so they're seeing. They're, I think these, people can hack into anything nowadays. If you're smart enough and you know you can technology, hack into you can, now yeah. me, myself, I can't hack into anything except some hostess cupcakes, but I can hack the shit out of those fuckers. And they're back. And they're back. And they're, 7 they're, they're back. They're we're, back. They're doing yes. good. Now, this is one that concerns me. What? Current technology, they're saying, okay, does not enable dro drones to avoid crashing into people. Okay, that, so what, so what you the hell be the is What if you're hanging out in front of your house and a package is coming? Right. It's going to drop on your head? I, I can see it now. Peggy. What's up, girl? <sighs> Have you heard? What? Heard You know what? Cindy down... You know little Bobby Sue, Cindy's daughter down the street? Oh, yeah. She's cute. <sighs> I don't, you didn't hear? No. What happened? You know how she's always bouncing up and down in her backyard on her trampoline? Oh, yes. She's that quite trampoline. Gymnast. Those are dangerous. Listen, girl. She got really high the other day on that trampoline, and one of those goddamn Amazon drones <gasps> clipped her in the side of her head, and she's in the hospital with a concussion. Those drones. Drone. You know, a drone concussion. Are they going to have drone concussion? Are they going to have things like the NFL? Like Insurance? If a drone gives you a concussion. You know what I mean? Who's going to pay for that? Who's going to pay for that? Yeah. Did Jeff Bezos think about all these things? Okay, I let's keep know. rolling now. Now, oh, another also, thing. Also, did you hear that 262 pounds of pot was dropped from the sky? Did a drone drop it right. by accident? And, and what she's getting at is everybody, <laughs> drones could be a target for thieves. Because you exactly. know everybody that does the dirty mm -hmm. is going to be like, how can I have Come on in drone? over here, right over the border. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, why, why, don't we, you know, why don't we get some fucking drones to deliver a That's read? right, so nobody can be blamed. No yeah. one did it. Fucking robot. Yeah, robot dropped the fucking that's 260 right. pounds, you know. So that that's another concern. Will it add to your delivery costs? They're at, people are wondering, like people who are like myself who are oh, special. Oh, you're a prime privilege. member. You're fucking special. So you should be getting the pro now. My drone. prime membership is fucking awesome because Amazon is awesome. But people are saying, okay, you know, I pay roughly around a hundred bucks to be a prime member. Are and you serious? Yeah, I pay a hundred bucks a year. A year? And okay, I get, but what kind of special treatment do you get? Well, That's I get crazy. free deliveries. Free? Like free deliveries for a certain amount. You know, if I get something that Amazon delivers, I get my delivery is free. Oh, and, okay. And and sometimes the package comes pretty fast. But I would have to think that when he rolls out this program, and I do, and we're being funny and saying these things because these are questions that everybody in the world are asking. Yeah, right we're now. all wondering. But I think it will, I know it will happen. Oh, uh, but I, not I, anytime soon. I think it will happen. The FAA will, I think everything will speed up because when you have a company that is so fucking powerful and is cutting edge and is making things, they will get pushed. Mm -hmm. shit, shit will get pushed faster. I think it will happen. 
And, and they're saying that it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. How fast will it happen? Yeah. We don't know. I think it's going to happen sitting here right now in December 2013. I think I'm going to do the over under on five years. I think it's going to happen within five years. Really? Within five years. Because ev- technology is moving so yeah, fucking fast. Yeah, but shit's just flying through the air randomly and they can't th- control what's in these packages. I don't know if that I would think happen. they're going to be. People are worried about bombs. People mm-hmm. are worried about drugs. Mm-hmm. And in five years, I think they will have it all sorted really? out. Really? I, I, I just think that I think That's insane. that it will be, I mean, this guy is on, he, the way he's putting up these factories and these, these, the, it just, I think that he is going to push to get it done. Faster. Well, that's, well, he does he, have loads of money. So when you have money, shit gets done. Now, um, you know, and, and then one of the biggest questions are, do people want this? And some people are like, oh, I don't want it. I don't want this. I don't want this. You know, there's going to always be people that are going to be advocates of it. And they're going to be And then there's that, going to be assholes who are going to think, hey, it's a game. And they're going to try to shoot that shit down. And, and I'm going to tell you what. It's just going to be like Bubba and his couple buddies from either Kentucky, West Virginia, or Indiana. Because that's where the first yeah, drone is. Look at that. Look at that bird. I don't need to do no goddamn skeet shooting. Every time one of those Amazon uh, clones or drones flies <laughs> over my fucking head. <laughs> I just popped that motherfucker out of the sky with my guy. And I, I got a fucking present. Yeah. You know, not only do I hit, I work on my target, you know, and, and save money on skeet shooting. Okay. <laughs> then I get better at shooting turkey and pheasant. But God damn it, when the motherfucker flies out of the sky, <laughs> I got me a free fucking Christmas gift. Yeah, that's good. What about that shit? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You're gonna get some motherfuckers like that too. Believe that shit, you know. You better believe that. <laughs> <laughs> you can believe that shit. You know what I mean? That there's gonna be some motherfucker shooting a fucking drone. Now, so that brings up the question: Are they gonna be insured? Are uh, you know what happens? Like, okay, P- a drone crashes into somebody. Okay, that's 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 you know obviously yeah. he might have to pay out. There'll be some type of compensation for that. But what about if there's some assholes out there trying to shoot this dude's drones yeah. or, or damage the drones? I, I don't know when it's going to happen. I, I I don't know. So there's I'm a, a little, lot of questions. I'm a little skeptical. Are you? This is the drone show, by the way. It's the drone show. It's the drone show. I, I, am, I am all about technology. And I, I like people who are uh, are brave enough to take chances. Yeah. And, 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 and just introduce it. Me and, too. And I admire this guy. I really do. And I think I... I want to see him succeed just to shut up the people. Yeah. That, when I feel like when someone has a dream and they really want to do it, every all the haters come out yeah. and they doubt you. You know, and we we poke fun at some of the things. And they're real questions. Yeah. They're real concerns. Yeah. Obviously, everybody no, has. Them. I think it'd be awesome as shit. I'd like my fucking UGG boots delivered overnight. Oh hell, fuck Or within yes. two hours. Like this. Boop. Hello. Yeah, they're like saying that. that they can have deliveries. In within, a couple hours. Within a couple I hours. I think that would be awesome. Yes. Because you, who wants to wait until the next day? Who? Now, um. Uh, enough of the of, of the drugs. Yeah, it's time for you to make a choice, bitch. Jesus Christ! Did you I did, sound cool? You did. You did sound. You know, I think maybe you have a little bit of a uh, more swag and a little more confidence. It's, you, you know what? Before, it's because of the Darylin I wear. I'm gonna actually. I'm Italian gonna wear my. Designer I'm gonna keep eyewear. my shades on. Oh, the whole so we t- can't see what you're gonna. So no one can see what I'm thinking right. right now. Okay, you ready for your first question? Because I love these shades. Yeah, Darylin.com. Very cool. Okay, mm-hmm. one. Would you rather work from home? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Or work from an office and have to commute, but you can't leave your home ever. Ever. Okay? Mm-hmm. You have to have all your groceries delivered. You can't leave your home. Eight hour day? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but you can't leave your home. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know why? Okay. I know you guys are why? hypnotized by how cool I look in these shades. But, uh, are you going to wear what? your shades at home? I, I, because traffic for me is such a son of a bitch. It gets me so uptight and I feel like commuting would take years off my life. Whereas I could sit back and work and I could still communicate with people in my home. Yeah, because fucking FaceTime and Skype and all that shit. I get up at six in the morning, go downstairs, start work in my office from six to two. I haven't left the house, no stress, and I get a lot of work done. Mm -hmm. No downtime. All right. Okay. Question number two. Would you rather have all your dreams come true? Mm-hmm. But you have a 10% of an instant death at any moment. Mm-hmm. Or be completely average with nothing special about you. Average with nothing special about me. Really? Yeah, I could be average. Yeah, but you have a fucking d- chance of dying any time now, too. That's a good point. I never thought of that. <laughs> now I feel like a fucking dumbass. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You know what I'm saying? You're actually taking the coolness away from me wearing yeah. my cool shades. Yeah. Okay, what's the next okay. one? I oh, fucked so, that one up, so everybody. So you, you want to be average? 
Yeah, I, I'm cool with average. You know, I'm okay. fine with average. Okay, what this, about you this people? This is kind you of a messed average? up question. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be paralyzed mm -hmm. from the neck down for five years? Mm -hmm. For five years? For and five, five years and then completely recover. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or be in a coma for five years and then wake up and fully recover. Ooh, that's a tough one. I know what I would say. I would probably say paralyzed. Really? Mm -hmm. Because I would learn to appreciate things. Co being in a coma, you lose things. Everything. You're, you're, nothing is going on. You're still living. Yeah, but living. you wake up and you're like, oh, I didn't miss shit. Yeah, but let me tell you something. You wake up from a coma, your body is so debilitated. I'm like, you, you have to, you have to take, you know, you have to work through that to get So you'd rather be get, paralyzed and really appreciate? Paralyzed, I could still make a living. I yeah. could still appreciate living, see my family, yeah. my kids grow. I could still see things. Whereas coma, I completely, you completely miss out. That's true. You know what I mean? I so I would, I would, I would definitely. I figured you just wake up out of a coma and you're like, ah, oh, I didn't I'm miss fine. anything. And you try to take a step and you haven't used your legs in five years and you face plant, you know? Oh. But it's cool because you just fucking push sin and the Amazon show, you know, delivers you crutches. You know? That's true. Is that too fucking fucked up for you? That's okay. good. All right. Okay. All right. Would you rather win the lottery? Yes. Or. <laughs> you just spit on me. Did I? I'm sorry. <laughs> or, or live twice as long. Win the lottery or live or twice, live twice as, as long. Oh, man. See, living twice as long, it, it depends. It's overrated. On, well, I think. If, I wouldn't want to Not if you were 30. Long. If you were living twice as long as you were 30, the whole time it wouldn't but be I'm overrated. I'm assuming I'm going to live a long, healthy life. That's what I'm assuming. Um, I would probably say I would, uh, I would want to live, I would want to win the lottery because, you know, you'd see all your friends die mm -hmm. and pass away. And, you know, if you had that kind of money, you could do you a could lot do for your things. family. Yeah, do good you for your do, family. People that really need the money and stuff. So, yeah. anyway. Uh, that was it for Make a Choice, bitch. Guys. Um, don't for, forget to leave your comments below. Yeah, leave comments. Follow us on Twitter. I mean, I still tweet a lot. Yeah, definitely. I, you know, and yeah, follow us on Twitter. Yeah. If you guys haven't subscribed to Leave some to nice us. comments. Nice. Uh, about how well I did this yeah, week. Yeah, you guys, yeah, she's going to be full of herself. She went for her yeah, street I did slang good. one. Um, if you guys, if you get a chance, run over to www.darylin.com. And check out her eyewear. Like we said, her new stuff is going to be rolling out in February. Yeah, it's cool, man. I'm going to be wearing my shades all the time. And uh, we're out of here until next week. See ya. Deuces.